How are we doing, everybody? Lip Thims here. Today we're in Karachi, Pakistan with Indian-born Pakistani organometallic chemist Mirza Big. Uh, well, I've flown out from Chicago and we're going to be doing a four-day interview of Mirza talking about his 1987 book, New Dimensions in Sociology, A Physical Chemical Approach to Human Behavior. And uh, he's in volume one of the ten volume set, Hbolpedia. So here he is right here. Welcome, Mirza. Would you like to say anything, uh, words to the world? About, about, about my book? Uh, yeah. Well, th this book was conceived after uh, my training in, on uh, management sciences in 1974. Okay. Previous to that, I was a, a chemist, then an applied chemist, mm -hmm. then a, uh, a, te a technological chemist. Mm -hmm. Finally, I, I, I was placed as a, in, in, in the uh, National Institute of Public Administration for a course on management. Uh, PCSR, if, if there was any difficulty with me, PCSR was that it did not have science managers. Science managers. So they thought that I should get get some training in management sciences. Oh, okay. And during those management sciences, people were talking about uh, affinity. Mm -hmm. They were talking about uh, activated activated complexes, mm -hmm. complexes, and all those things. That that sounds uh, um, strange to me that these people are sociologists or management ma management people and they are talking about are talking in terms which are scientific, which are chemi physical, chemi physical chemistry uh, norms. Such being the case, I, I, I question them. What, what do they mean? Mm -hmm. Ourselves as scientists, it means, it, it, it means like this. Then, then they asked me instead, what do, what do you mean? We have, we have been using this, this, this terminology for, for quite some time and we are used to that. So you but, 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 but why, why don't you write something so that the two of us are on the same plane? Okay. That's, that's, initial, that, that's what initiated, initiated me yeah. to write a few, few, few things. And then that culminated into those four, four books, four or, four, four or five books. They ultimately formed the chapter for the, uh, for the book. Okay. I would, I may, may still have diverged, but then I had plenty of time when, when I was hospitalized for a heart, for my heart disease. Okay, we'll, we'll get to that when we go a little farther down the, uh, down the page. Let me just say a few words about these, these uh, terms for everybody who's watching. These symbols here on uh, Mirza's HMOPedia page. So S and E means he's social Newton existive, number two. That means he's the second ranked uh, social Newton in the world right now. And then a social Newton is someone who applies the equations of physics, chemistry, and engineering like Newton did to the planets, but to apply it to people and societies. Right here is his Dawkins number one, which means he's he believes in God, he believes uh, Allah, and right here we have this citation ring. Now this is what's one of the most important things right here is this means he's cited 170 times. Uh, I discovered Mirza in 2014 by way of searching in a Google Books through the key term physical chemical sociology. So over the course of from 2014 into now, your influence in the 5,000 articles of HMLpedia has spread to uh, 170 pages. So this means if we click on citation rank, this means how many pages you're, you're internally cited within the articles. So, let's 
So for here's a here's a picture of Willard Gibbs from Yale University. This was uh, this was donated by Os Will Wilhelm Oswald donated donated this and and had a sculpture <laughs> created at, at Yale University. So then we down here we have Goethe at the bottom of the stack of books here. He's the Goethe who doesn't know is the first one to apply. Uh, chemical affinity so, to, so, sociologically. And so Goethe is the most cited. He cited over 2,000 pages. <laughs> and then we get down to Gilbert Lewis. So Mirza, you, you must have, when you studied, uh, your, you completed your chemical education, you studied the works of Gilbert, Gilbert Lewis. Do you, does the name recognize? Sound familiar to you? So we have Einstein cited 492 times. And then Rene Descartes, 242 times. So now we get to where's a big who's up in the Right now, this has page hasn't been update, updated, but he's somewhere. He's ranked about number 22 and 23, a little between Frederick Nietzsche and Wilhelm Oswald, in terms of the influence already in the first since only. So your influence is only going to grow in in the years to come. Here's Mirza and myself yesterday. Oh, we had a little our first in, uh, meet and greet yesterday. We did the equipment check, and uh, we're exchanging our books right here. So now we're getting into the long-awaited interview of Mirza Big in Karachi, Pakistan, summer 2019. So actually, it's uh, September, and down here we have Mirza's 1987 book, New Dimensions in Sociology, where he has the society in a beaker, and he has the uh, slums here middle cities and you've got metropolises here. He's got the Gibbs free energy extensive reaction going over the activation energy barrier to the final Gibbs free energy state. And uh, Mirza, why don't you explain why you chose to use a beaker on your, explain to the camera. Well, <clears throat> I, I was thinking about uh, the universe in which uh, so many reactions are taking place, reactions, interactions, mm -hmm. human interactions are there. And I thought that the, uh, whatever is happening is on a universal basis. That, and that the beaker is the universe. And all those uh, findings, all those pictures there, they are, they are supposed to be the human mind the creation of the human mind. Mm -hmm. so something has been initiated, whatever gets initiated has to be activated, has to be activated or put into action. But through, through the brain or intuition, the, 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 the ground there, that, that indicates how the interactions are taking place. For example, affinity, mm -hmm. in, in that case, is the, the, what you will find is a depression here, the first one. Yeah. That, 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 that starts the reaction. Mm -hmm. That starts the reaction between, let us say, uh, as uh, Goethe says, A and B. Mm -hmm. Forming, A, A plus B forming, in, or cultivating into C plus D. Mm -hmm. I say no, these are two, two different entities. Mm -hmm. Those entities are but, uh, A, A plus A, A, A plus B, and this, the other one is C plus D. Mm -hmm. The two two of them are reacting uh, uh, reacting among uh, uh, between themselves. Oh, okay. Have, have, uh, then their reaction, they, they meet and they, 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 there is a uh, certain amount of uh, interaction. Okay. 
question I have is when you speak of this in terms of a universal uh, some, something universal is going on what equation what one equation term or concept comes to mind when you think of uh, in terms of chemistry and physics that applies universally what, what what word comes to mind what equation which chemical principle the Chatelier that is in my mind all the time. Okay. Because they, they, that improves temperature, that improves pressure, that improves okay. many of those variables in the world. So right here, this is just a, uh, this is B, MERSA big, M for MERSA, B for big, plus T sub L, lifted the, this is the uh, element for MERSA big, this is the ele chemical element for lip thems. So, Somehow the interaction. Interaction. Somehow the the energy of the universe has brought us together. So now we're gonna <laughs> we're having chemical reaction and who, who knows what's gonna form over here. We have we have formed that, a nice nice friendship. A that, scientific that friendship. Is beam and PM plus TN this is the, the this is a beaker. Okay. So one one question here in terms of uh, Physical All that you have to do is Mirza Bay plus lithiums. Yeah, we were we are, we are this and and the and that that may that 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 introduces a bond. Uh, we are over here. We are the reactants. We we, we, we have it. We, we have to have. We have had some bond energy input in. Yeah, that energy has culminated into this question. It's no longer a question now. Yeah. It's a it's a B B M plus G L. Okay. So on this side we are the B M not plus dot. Dot? B M dot T L. What does the dot mean to you? That that dot means it's a, it's a it's a bond between the between the two. The dot is the is the bond. Oh, okay. But the dot, the bond would be on this side. Yeah. On the product side. BMTL. BM dot TL. Oh, okay. Excellent. That's good. And, uh, and there's the product. Okay. So that, that, that might be another book. Yeah, yeah. Another book. Maybe yeah. in your... Mirza's thinking about writing second edition for his book. Here's the first edition we have right here. And uh, you'll tell me you're going to write second edition. Yeah. Maybe you can put... Some, you can start using dots for bond in your second edition. Yeah, that, that, that will be it. Okay. And then also, on this side, we have my book, Human Chemical Thermodynamics. Uh, yeah. And over here we have... A plus B. A plus B. This is A. A, the man. B. The A is the man. B is the A, woman. B. They form the married couple and the baby. This, this is very The son A, B, or the daughter. A, A, B, T, L. Ashad B. A B, the lithiums, 
dot lit things, mm -hmm. yeah. and that's it. So MRSA is slated for one of the main chapters in my drafting book, Human Chemical Thermodynamics. But we'll we'll keep rolling moving forward. Now we have to give everybody some perspective at home of how MRSA fits into the big picture of things. Over the last decade, I've researched through all of the world's libraries to find out the number of people who applied thermodynamics to a social phenomena. And MRSA, both you and I, we agree that thermodynamics applies to every system in the universe. Mm -hmm. Is this true? Yes. yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Some people don't believe this. And of the people who have tried to do this, there's been 500 people. And this is con considered similar to, in my book, climbing up a, a difficult mountain. So this is Mirza right here, or myself, and we're trying to climb up the difficult terrain of the sociological phenomenon terrain, and trying to understand how thermodynamics applies to humans. And one of the same reasons that I came out to Karachi to uh, interview Mirza is, the, is exactly the same as the reason that Henry Adams uh, said in a letter to his friend, uh, English Lord Charles Gaskell in 1909, he found out that uh, Lord, Lord Kelvin, or uh, William Thompson, the eponym of the Kelvin temperature scale, he, Henry Adams, was trying to understand how to apply Gibbs free energy to a social phenomenon, and he spent 50 years working on it. And so when he found out that uh, he wanted to, he, Henry Adams is in America, and he said that he would have traveled uh, a few thousand million miles to discuss with Kelvin the thermodynamics of a socialistic society. And so in a similar matter, I've flown a few thousands of miles to come to Karachi to discuss with Mirza the thermodynamics of a socialistic society. So that's what we're going to be doing over the course of the next four days. And I hope you've follow through and learn from what Mirza is going to teach us all and from the questions I'll be asking Mirza. So now, just to give everybody a little idea here of some of these. So the first pioneer here was Heraclitus. He's, he's known as the flux and fire philosopher. So the Greeks were the first one to apply the principles of heat as a model to explain everything in the universe. The same way Mirza talked about the beaker and the universe and the heat of the reaction in the beaker. And then, of course, we have Aristotle. Da Vinci did models on animal heat. And, and the bit Mirza knows about Lavoisier. He did some of the first work on the combustion theory of animal heat. And now Goethe. Goethe, who we've certainly talked about more than more than enough, is he published his book in 1809, Elective Affinities, where he applied the principles of uh, chemical affinity. But he, he called these the moral. He called the principles in the physical chemistry text the moral symbols of nature, and he applied these: the the reaction arrow, the rec, the chemical bond between species, and the transformation between reactants and products. He said these were. He used Bergman's physical chemistry textbook, and he said these were the moral symbols of nature. And so he wrote 36 chapters in his book on elective affinities. And so Goethe is the first pioneer to apply affinity chemistry to social interactions. Merz is the first person to apply both affinity chemistry and Gibbs free energy theory, which is the after 1882, we now define from uh, Helmholtz's 1882 proof of the thermodynamic theory of affinity, that the measure of the chemical affinity between, say, three species, or the force of the reaction between the reactants here and the products over here, is the measured by the change in the Gibbs free energy of the system, or the beaker, the beaker in uh, Merz's case here. So you have, if you have a system, for example, a city and a beaker, the boundary of the system, say if you have a town, is the 
boundary of the beaker and the forces of affinity between the uh, reactants in the beaker are the chemical, interpersonal chemical affinities. The emergent cause D is the motivation for forces. So the measure of the, all of the affinities in the system is measured by the overall Gibbs free energy change in the system. But that wasn't discovered until after 1882. So we've, Mirza is a unique person that has, uh, uh, Mirza, what, what, in what year did you come to learn about affinity, affinity chemistry and Gibbs free energy? Do you remember what year that was? What course you took? There, there, there was you, a lesson born in me. No, when you were going to school, when you were I was, I was, I was all, the, all the time thinking that the chemical reaction between A and B, if, if you translate that into sociology, that the, the, the two reactants become, uh, the, the reaction becomes socialization. The question I'm trying to ask him is, what, how old was he when he first learned about chemical affinity? Was it? No, was it like आपने जब ये केमिस्ट्री इंफिनिटी वगैरह के बारे के बारे में बात की तो वो आप मतलब आपने कब पढ़ा इसके बारे में आपने शुरू कब किया इसके बारे में पढ़ना who've applied thermodynamics to the humanities. We'll draw this, some of them are here, shown here. So here's a, one example. George Helm, he's a German physicist. In 1887, he wrote the Doctrine of Energy. And he said that he wrote three chapters on the philosophy and religious implications of thermodynamics. So Merz uh, wrote in his book some of the philosophical and religious implications of thermodynamics in terms of Islam. And we'll talk about that on the fourth day of the lecture. So of the 500 people who've applied thermodynamics to humanities, there's been 40 people who've applied unique in thermodynamics, the Gibbs free energy principle to uh, so social phenomena. So for example, on Merz's book here, at the bottom of the, the activation energy, that's Gibbs free energy in the initial state, and it transforms over the activation energy very turn Gibbs free energy in the final state. So MERS is one of these 40 what's called human free energy theorists. So over here we have, this is the model for the chemical synthesis of a human. And the Gibbs free energy is the energy that brings about the formation of the, the person into the universe. H is the enthalpy, less the temperature of the system, times the entropy. And so here's the entropic energy or the heat energy that's either being put in or taken out, and the Gibbs free energy is this total transformation that brings about the formation of the human. And here's the 26 element molecular formula for a human. So, of the 40 people, we have Goethe. Sigmund Freud is kind of an unknown person who did this in his 1895 project for scientific psychology. He applied the Bound energy is what's what Helmholtz called it, what we call entropy now, and then unbound energy is the free energy, and he applied this uh, to psychology. And then Lawrence Henderson, Harvard, he did something similar to Mirza, and then Mirza started working on four articles that he wrote after taking a uh, business education class on how to apply explain to business uh, majors principles of chemistry and physics. And uh, it turned out that he was hospitalized for a heart condition and he had to stay in the hospital for, uh, for five months. You were in the hospital. Mm -hmm. And this gave him time to write his book. So this is what's called gen genius hiatus effect. So for example, Isaac Newton went through a similar genius hiatus effect when um, Oxford was closed down due to the plague and he had to go back to his, his family's home for the summer and that gave him time to think about gravitational phenomena. So the time that Mirza had is similar to what Lawrence Henderson was put in the hospital and during the time he'd already been studying Gibbs energy and Charles Darwin and how to explain the order in nature. And while he was in the hospital he was given a copy of 
Vil Vilfredo Prado's general sociology, and he spent the next uh, 30 years trying to figure out how to apply uh, Gibbs free energy, Charles Darwin's evolution theory, and he ended up teaching a course at Harvard called Sociology 23. So Norman Dolop is one we'll talk about here a little bit. He wrote Heat Death in the Phoenix in 1975, and he did something similar to what Merzer did, and we'll talk about it, as he applied the, he developed what's called an organism synthesis equation. Most of the time when you read these books where people are applying the thermodynamics to evolution or sociology or philosophy, they just think of entropy as disorder and that the rule of thermodynamics is we have to de decrease our order. But uh, Norman Doloff is unique in that he understood that to form a chemical species, there's a, Gibbs, there's a enthalpy change and there's an entropy change. And it's not simply a matter of order and disorder. It's a matter of measuring the heat content and the organizational or transformation content to the formation of the thing. Mirza, in 1981, he published, after taking this uh, course on business, business man management, he published Human Behavior in Scientific Terminology, Affinity, Free Energy Changes, Equilibria, and Human Behavior in the Pakistani Management Min Review. This is one of four articles he ended up writing, and these four articles ended up culminating in his book, New Dimensions in Sociology. So he, and he's the 22nd person in human free energy theorists to apply free energy theory to sociology. Among these, these 40 people to apply a free energy theory to social phenomenon, there's been seven people who've applied free energy theory to social phenomenon, plus explained uh, people in terms of reaction mechanisms. For example, a person as being A and B, which Mirza does in his book, reacts to form something on the other side. is unique in that he doesn't just use A and B, he uses A, B, C, and D. So he has four chemical species reacting, and he shows different social, sociological products that can form from four different species. So, So first we have, uh, among these six people here, we have Harold Blum, who applied Gibbs free energy, a consideration of evolution from a thermodynamic viewpoint to explain evolution. And then Lawrence Henderson built, he used, uh, as we discussed, Gibbs free energy and Vilfredo Prado to teach a sociology 23 course at Harvard. Then we have Fred Rogerzini in 1971, who was an American, one of the leading, he was the student of Gilbert Lewis at uh, Berkeley. And he, after he wrote it, 1950, he wrote a chemical thermodynamics textbook. Then in his 1971 uh, Priestley Award address, he wrote a book, he gave a lecture called Chemical Thermodynamics in the Real World. So let's just look at this real fast. So Rosini gave his lecture, and he says that chemical thermodynamics can be scaled up to the social phenomenon, and that's what Mirza believes too. So he gave this lecture, and he said that he says that the reason I've given for my talk this evening, I've selected chemical thermodynamics in the real world because it represents an area in which I have worked a great deal, and because it relates to present day problems of our society. And he says, I will try to show that thermodynamics is a discipline highly relevant to a real world in which we live and that its fundamental laws may be related to the human experience. So that's what Mirza, Mirza did in his book and there's only six people who have ever done this. Uh, you want to say something? Yeah, the, the, the one thing that I found while I was being trained there in uh, management and sciences, was the commonality, commonality of phenomena. Mm -hmm. People have been using, we are used to citing allegories. Uh, what? Allegories. Yep. Similarities. Anal analogies. Similarities. Uh -huh. Because similarities. Similarities. Yes. Conclusions. Uh -huh. Conclusions. 
that is the approach applied everywhere and what these people have been doing is concluding on the basis of chemical formulae or equations. To, to be a human chemical thermodynamicist, you have to apply Gibbs free energy and you also have to explain social phenomena in terms of mechanisms. Now Mirza has been the only person in history prior to 2007 to apply, aside from Goethe and his reactions where he, he models people as the A, B, and C, the MERS is the second person who's ever done this. And Mirza models people as A, B, and they react for different types of products. So Mirza, maybe you can tell us a little bit about this. Uh, when did you get, well get down, here's Mirza's formula right here. So here's your first formula. So these are Merz's first human chemical reaction formulas. He published these in, these were published in your four articles ahead of time, or they were published in your book first. Mm -hmm. so, so here we have uh, society plus scarce, scarcity of hazards has an equilibrium reaction to form refugees. Uh, and uh, we'll talk a little bit more about in this in his book. And then down here he also has species A plus species B has an equilibrium reaction to form AB complex with a with a bond in between here. And he calls this the uh, this comes from his chapter four human interaction and the socialization process, which we'll get get to shortly here. So Mirza, why don't you tell us a little bit about your education? So in 1953 at uh, college, what college is this? You said you completed your undergraduate degree in, in what was your degree here? What was the field of study? Chemistry? Yes. And what, what college? What was the name of the college? Karachi University? There is a, there is a college here uh, in Karachi. So you completed? DJ. You completed DJ your ba bachelor's and degree and your master's degree in, in Karachi. Both at Karachi University. Karachi University in, in, in 1955. Oh, okay. And in what, the meantime, what was, your, what was your master's thesis on? What was the subject of this 1955 degree? In 1955, it, uh, I, I, was, I was being trained in, uh, in organic chemistry. Organic chemistry? In organic chemistry. Oh, okay. And, and this, one was, this one was general chemistry? If it, it's a, it, it's, it was general chemistry. Okay. It was general chemistry. But there, there, there I wrote a thesis uh, along with uh, Professor Shami Mahabad. He was also a, a, uh, a, a thinker. He, he gave us an idea about the participation of the lone pair electrons and, and the availability of lone pair electrons in certain circumstances. That was in my mind all the time. Oh, okay. And then... Uh, why, why, should, why should a certain chemical species react and the others may not? Mm -hmm. That was in, in his mind. And we were trying to uh, find similarities uh, everywhere. In, in chemistry. In organic chemistry. In no. organic lone, lone, lone pair electrons. Hmm? Uh, lone pair electrons lone applied, pair. applied in, in, or, pair, in organic lone, chemistry. Lone pair electrons, why, why, should, why, why, why should the lone pair not be available in, in each case? Then I started working on, when I started working on phosphines, that's that your, pattern by pattern that's, the idea. That's in your, so in 1961, PhD in chemistry of trifluoral methyl phosphines at University of British Columbia. And so you 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 he, traveled there on scholarship. He got he got me to prepare Professor S. C. Clark uh -huh. got me to prepare the trifluoromethyl phosphine substituted with methyl groups, methyl groups, methyl groups. Mm -hmm. Now the, those those methyl groups, one methyl group is okay. And the, the reaction, the reaction is, is, is retarded. Three trifluoromethyl groups, 
It's an inert substance. It does not react. The lone pair is not available. Mm -hmm. Two, two trifluoromethyl groups, they still, they, they, there, is some, they, there is some interaction. The lone pair may be available, but it is not extensive. It does not react with every, every, every other one, uh, metal, or the, the accepted metals, for example, platinum or nickel. Mm -hmm. They are the ones with, 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 with the D orbitals. And a reaction is possible there, but not, not with, with three trifluoromethyl groups. Why should that be like that? We, we try to explain as to why it should be. Then, instead of methyl methyl groups, we, we prepared phenyl groups. We introduced phenyl groups. Oh, okay. So, so we, we went from the 1960 with the with the uh, methyl groups and the lone, lone electron pair combinations, but then you jump to you in 1974. You you got the idea that these I I got I, I got the idea that it is the it is the surrounding it is the surrounding with 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 uh, donor molecules mm -hmm. do, do, donor groups for example methyl CH3. CH3 is a donor. Mm -hmm. But phenyl is also a donor. But so, trifluoromethyl is not a donor, it's an electron withdrawing group. Okay. So, one question if uh, CH3 is a donor you, species, you had the idea that maybe you could find uh, social examples of where a person could be compared to methyl, a methyl donor species. Yeah. That's correct? Yeah. The, 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 the methyl group itself is, is, is able to socialize. The phenyl group is, is also going to socialize. Okay, so... But the trifluoromethyl group is electron withdrawing. It's not going to socialize. So, one, one question. What would be an example in your mind of a person who's like a methyl, methyl group person in society? Who would, what would be one example of someone in society? Like a farmer, an agriculture person, I don't know, husband, wife, uh, son. Do you have an example of methyl, methyl complex type of person? Yeah, in a group. Someone who has maybe it, money to donate or something? In a, in a, in a, in a group, for example, in, your, in, in, the, in the family itself, there will be two people who may be supporting you. The third may not be supporting you. But if you are fortunate, the other three, they may be supporting you, so that, 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 that will enhance your capacity to interact and put forward your ideas. Okay. But if, if one of them is not, no, not supporting you, the, for me it was an electron withdrawing group. Okay. So it, the, the, the reaction would, the interaction will be retarded. It will not be a very conducive with regard to, uh, uh, to be very active all over. So I, I started interpreting that in, in, terms of, in, ter in terms of socialization. So I like the answers you're giving me. So how about we jump forward to 1974 and you were uh, nominated to attend an advanced training course at the National Institute of Public Administration in Karachi. And uh, how long was this course? You, when, this was for one for four months. That was for four months. Okay. So during these uh, lecture, there is a Mr. Mumtaz. Yeah. <laughs> what, what? What is his? Uh, they were citing who, examples. Who is Mr. Mumtaz? Mumtaz. What was? What was his background? Do you know his first name? Mr. Mumtaz. Uh, uh, Mumtaz is, is now settled in America somewhere. He's in America? And, uh, yeah. He was in the business administration. No, he was a lecturer there. Lecture? Lecturer. What was his education? He was a, uh, I think he was a management scientist. Management scientist? Okay. So Mr. Mumtaz, he had the idea that 
the conclusion that I draw, drew from these interactions was that it is always good to have similarities in your mind. Mm -hmm. From the similarities you can go, you you can proceed. That that leads to an objective approach. But over here he says he says Mr. Bumta says that if uh, if people if there was a uh, he was quite polarizing and he said during his lectures if his lectures during the following weeks could create a disturbance even though slight in the thinking of the participants one of the participants was you that the objection would be completed and it, it, this led you to complete the course with an open mind what do you mean by this well he, he, uh, he, he was trying to say that don't be biased mm -hmm. have an objective approach okay. if you have a subjective approach or oh, what what nonsense are you talking about mm -hmm. smart in that case you you will not learn so then but you, if you have an open mind if you are going to yeah. examine it subjectively objectively yeah. in that case the doors will be open yeah that's a good philosophy for everybody yeah so then when you were attending these you said that uh, some of the lecturers were using terms like polarization activation of potential energy complexes they compounds were, they meta were metaphorically they, they were taking it metaphorically were they used they were using the term affinity yeah they were they, they were called, they were thinking that this these metaphors or they are they are, they, are, they are using those metaphors to demonstrate a certain idea okay to interpret a certain can, idea can you give us one example yeah uh, like one of you one of the speakers you listen to them talk and they did they say something like this business has a lot of potential energy or the the new the democratic process is going to be good if we get activation do you have do you remember an example yeah they were talking about polarization about what polarization polarization okay. polarization give, can you give an example yeah, yeah. we are going to polarize you we are going to uh, attract, your attract your attention. We are about your attention. Okay. We, uh, we, are, we, we are creating a situation in which you will attend to us. Okay. You will be polarized. So everybody will look. Everybody yeah. will look forward yeah. to the lecture. Okay. You, you, you will be polarized. If if we have sufficient sufficient attraction for for a certain idea. So in that case, you are polarized towards the idea. So in, in your mind, yeah. you were thinking about electron polarization. Yeah. And how the electrons align. But I was thinking about the polarization in terms of so in terms of chemistry, physical and, chemistry, and electrochemical. Oh, okay. electrochemical yeah, chemistry. this I like this a lot. Very, this is I, very. Uh, similar was, was, was the case. So, so potential energy. Yeah. They they will call they, they will they will all the time say that this is. We, we have the potential to do it. Uh -huh. We will train with potential energy. Potential, give me potential no, to do. Uh, uh, to give me what, one example. What do you mean by, by potential? Give me what, 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 were the, what were their objectives? Potential to do what? Start start a new business? Potential is capability. No, but I mean, for example, they want the potential to start a new business. Yeah, you have the potential to do, do, do business. You have to do uh, potential to. You have the potential to influence my my, my opinion. Okay. If you have the, if, if you have if I have the potential to influence your mind, in that case I'm able to polarize okay. your polarize the idea your idea towards my ideas. So in your mind, when you talked about potential. You were thinking of in terms of physical chemical potential. Yes. Okay. And what's the name of the physical chemical potential? In your mind, what name did you use? You, you thought of it in terms of Gibbs energy? Potential energy was potential energy, kinetic energy, and all those things. Since we 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 are trained towards energy energy systems. Okay. We we take everything about energy. So the polarization is a, is is polarization of the poles. There are two poles are, are with so okay. one pole is, is, is attract, uh, uh, one pole is attracting. Oh, the other so is you're talking about 
you were thinking about potential energy in terms of uh, two uh, electron complexes next to each other. Yeah. Okay. Potential energy is potential energy. Okay. So the potential, so much of potential, but when, when, when the water falls, the, 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 the Gra potential gravitational potential is transferred trans trans okay. trans to the, uh, the turbines. And the turbines are in terms of uh, converted into the electro electrical energy. Okay. But just to clarify, in your mind, when they were using, we have the potential to start to, to change your mind. Yeah. You were thinking of the potential in terms of physical chemical energy, right? Yeah. Okay. So then, you says here you were encouraged. You were prompted. This prompted me to write a few notes on related to physical chemical terminologies to those of human behavior. So you wrote your notes down. You wrote the notes, and you were encouraged in doing so by Dr. A. H. Siddha Kiwi. This was a great man. Who, who was he? Uh, he was the deputy director of the Institute of Public Administration. Oh, okay. He 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 is the man. He was the one that encouraged you. Yeah. He said, he said, Mirza, this is good, he, right more. He, he was a great mentor. You know his, what is his first name? Ashan Siddiqui. A-H-A-H-S-A-N. -A 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 he, he encouraged me to write what, what, the, what I meant yeah. about the potential and about, about the activation and the characteristics yeah. complex and complex formation. We should, we should he have... wanted me to say that in writing. Uh, he's, Say, he's tell, tell us what, what you mean. He's still in, in Karachi yeah, he, right now? He, does he, he, do, he lives here now or he's not? Hmm? He, does he still here in Karachi? Mm, no, he's in Islamabad. Islamabad? Islamabad. Oh. Okay. So then, you, in 1976, you mimeo mimeographed these into a booklet called Human Behavior and Scientific Terminology. So then, you wrote four articles. He wrote uh, Human Behavior in Scientific Terminology, 1979. Human Behavior in Scientific Terminology Assimilation, 1980. Human Behavior in Scientific Terminology Affinity, Free Energy Changes and Equilibria in Human Behavior. And there is a, a fourth article published in Pakistani Marketing Review. So when you publish these articles, what, how did people react to them? Did you get people say this oh, is this is no good? You can't oh, write this. Said, <laughs> they say no. You this is, this is nonsense. No good. <laughs> throw it throw in the trash. <laughs> what? Oh, I will not I will not accept you. Accept you to anybody. <laughs> what What did people did you have did people say give you feedback? Did they talk to oh, you. Oh, the, in 1979 or in 79 to 82. Mm -hmm. I was a uh, director, the director of the, uh, of, of the PCSR laboratory, Pakistan Council of the uh -huh. Research Laboratory. I was director there. Yeah. So I had a, a, a few say in, in, in matters of management. Oh, you had a little. Uh, but did you get any honest those, feedback? Those, those directors are never popular. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was one of those unpopular. Did my, my, to, to, to my mind was that we have to work. Uh -huh. If you don't, if, if I cannot, if you are sitting idle, in that case, it's my fault. Uh -huh. It's my fault that I have not given you work. Mm, okay. Or it is your fault that you are not listening to me and you are not following the orders. Okay. So that, that was the conflict. But did, did, did anybody read these articles? Or quite a number of people, because I presented these, these papers. In the in the in the in the uh, newspapers, okay, and I also presented them in the in the in in conference. Okay, so what about the this this uh, 1981 article, human behavior, affinity, free energy changes, equilibrium, and human behavior? Did 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 people talk to you when it was done? They they they, they said well. well <laughs> he's talking out. They said it was too confusing. Or to say too complicated. I, 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 he, he doesn't know what, he talk, what he's talking about. When I, when I wrote uh, uh, an article on uh, 
monafrocat, dichotomy, hypocrisy. They called you crazy? Yeah, I, I did that. <laughs> I, 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 there, there was one paper on uh, why the Arabs, how, how did the Arabs miss the bus mm -hmm. in, in chemistry? Oh, okay. And I said, they did not use, they, they hated to use alcohol as a medium for extraction of, of, of those herbs and the active principles. Mm. They knew that this herb is, is going to work, but they did not use alcohol for the extraction. Oh, because it was against the law. They, they, they're, they're against the law. But then, why, why should, why should alcohol, use of alcohol, be, un, be, un, be treated as unpsychotic? Mm. But yeah, that's. Mm. Uh, you, you, and, and that's why they missed the you bus. Have to, you have to separate. You, you are not. You, are, you, 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 you cannot separate religion from science. Mm -hmm. Then I wrote uh, an article about uh, uh, polarization, polarization, interpretation of polarization in terms of hypocrisy. Hypocrisy. Yeah, hypocrisy, yeah. Uh, and I say it said that uh, I, I drew a scale. What, what article was this? A scale, a scale for, for measurement of Africa or hypocrisy. Okay. Which video is this? What about this, this equation right here? Yeah. You, uh, in 1983, you published physical chemical processes and <laughs> human, human behavior, Muslim society, its formation and decline in science and technology in the Islamic world. You did not and, say and, and, no, and this, no, you put this. Uh, and which you seem to want up. What it is some uh, some more question a bit of physical idea. Uh, one being his equation is called A for total spiritual activity shown is below ten. <laughs> so one question I have is why didn't uh, you publish you publish this here in, in an article, but how come in the, you didn't put this equation in the book? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Uh, it was more like a test. Well, you weren't for sure about it. Oh, that goes back back thirty years. It goes back too many years. Uh, too long ago. I I I I lost. You don't remember this one, one, huh? I lost this one. That's okay. I found it on the I found it on the uh, local books. <laughs> I dug this one up in a library. I thank you very much for digging this up. I found a little piece of treasure. All the time thinking about this one, <laughs> and where, 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 I, where should I have lost it? Uh, uh, you're such a great man. <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> Hats off to you, Liam. Yes. Uh. All right, so then now we're going to get to this. So this is when you published the book, 1987. But, but, but this book was also not accepted. The book was oh, no, nobody accepted the book. Which book? This New Dimensions? Uh, uh, the other book. New Dimensions in Sociology. This, this book here? The book that we are talking about. Nobody accepted no, it? Nobody accepted it. No. Uh, well, well, that's... Give me an example. Uh, uh, one fellow who is, who is, who is in uh, Washington at the Islamic Institute of... Uh, uh, Institute, he said in his review that uh, Sociology has been treated by zoologists in terms of insects, in uh -huh. terms of, uh, in term, in terms of <laughs> animals, yeah. animal behavior. Now here is a here is a scientist. He says that he can interpret human behavior in terms of molecules, molecular interaction. Thanks. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Beer. Thank you, Dr. Beer. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that is <laughs> uh, he, he said he laughed at you, huh? No, nobody encouraged me. 
Yeah. Until you do it. <laughs> oh yeah, you see, people are, people don't have open mind. They have they have closed that, mind. That's what, that's what you teach. Yeah, I've that's seen this over and over again. If I go to uh, you, 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 I found that you have an open mind. Oh yeah, exactly. But then, when we started uh, talking about uh, talking about religion, then I started talking whether you also have an open mind. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then somebody there. Colossus or whoever it was. Yeah, he was when, when he came in, then I, I said, no, no, no. Yeah, he's he's, very, not, he's, he's like sour, sour lemon kind of person. Mm -hmm. he's, uh, he was a young student. He's only he's a high school student, only 18 years old. He's like young, young a young boy. Ah. <laughs> he's not a, but he was, he wasn't, uh, he doesn't, he didn't learn how to talk to people with respect. Like to treat people with respect. Yeah, that's what I do. That's what I come complete to you. Yeah. What type of person is, is this man? Yeah, he was he was just he's only you, you, he was only seventeen years old. Ah. But uh, uh, but uh, the, he the claimed he claimed that he had an IQ of two hundred and forty or something. Yeah, he's a little bit uh, like dream. He dreamy. He's very dreamy. <laughs> but uh, but the when the website I use is public website, so uh, people can come on. Because uh, one thing about having open mind. Is I listen to everybody, people can say whatever they want about me. I listen, if you want to call me, say names to me, or say I'm stupid, or this is good, this is bad, I, I listen to it, I, it doesn't matter to me. So people can come, I don't censor anything, you know, so I don't say shut the internet off. But anyways, uh, yeah, I understand, but for me, the reason I, I don't uh, uh, stop in terms of religion, all the discussion about religion, is because uh, the subject becomes goes back in terms of mythology, and it goes back to some of the people that you think are prophets, like Abraham, uh, Ibrahim, Ibrahim, uh, or Moses, Mo, Mo, Mus, Musa, Musa. I understand uh, when you start reading about that. I understand him in terms of uh, the, it goes back farther in terms of uh, Egyptian religion. And Egyptian religion understood Musa in terms of the Orion constellation. So the, the, the Orion constellation, and they understood Ibrahim in terms of the, the sun. Uh -huh. So that's why I think that, that the, this discussion gets very long. So if we get in discussing into that, we could spend like three months discussing that. And we won't have time to, to talk about the main, the main points, but we'll talk about a little bit on day, do that. day four. My, my, my only point is, with regard to religion, is that it is based on allegories, mm -hmm. it is based on similarities. So, the, the Quran is using those similarities and asking us to, to ponder over it. This is a, this is a, this is a similarity. Mm -hmm. Learn from the similarity. Yeah. Yeah, there's good things to be from, learned from, from all the earthquakes. This, this earthquake killed, killed so many people. Mm -hmm. It was an aftermath of this. Mm -hmm. So it may not be related, but the but the catastrophe, catastrophe is what is what is to be done. Okay. They he punished certain people in, in this manner. So that was the punishment. That was an allegory, that was a similarity. So we, what has been done there is using the commonality of phenomena. Mm -hmm. I'm also trying to say that it is the commonality of phenomena that is between science and religion. So the, the two of them cannot, should not be separated. Mm -hmm. yeah. they, they, have, they have grown together. Yeah, yeah. They're... We are after having learned a, learned a few things. We are we are supposing that we, we can do it do, do everything. Uh, the human mind can do everything, but the, the human mind has to be has to have, receive a certain intuition. Mm -hmm. Everybody is not as intelligent as it thinks. Yeah. Eh? I, they, 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 you 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 get 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 a brain wave some sometimes it's a, somehow somewhere yeah so 
it's, 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 it's a blessing. Mm -hmm. That blessing is occult energy. Mm -hmm. So it, everything has to be explained in terms of energy. Mm -hmm. That means thermodynamics. Yeah. So thermodynamics is the root cause. Yeah. Thermodynamics explains the religion, thermodynamics explains the, mm -hmm. the natural phenomena. And so the, the common thing is, the common denominator is thermodynamics. Uh, excellent. Yeah. Give me one like this with your hand. This is how they do it now. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so let's talk about this now. So nine, this is you. This is the... Let's see here. So... Um, the right we have Zia uh, Hag. Zia, Zia Al Hag. Zia Al Hag. He's the, the president. president of Pakistan. In 1987, and this is the governor of Sindh. Uh, Te, 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 his name is Tejani. Tejani. Okay. And he's why? Why is he holding your book? He's launching the book. Book launch. Book book launch party. So book, it, 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 so this is the so you are age sometime there. So you're you're at this time you are famous in Pakistan and that the, the president came. To visit you, or you went to visit the president? The no, this man was behind the organization. He was behind the organization. No, behind the, behind the organization of the conference. The person at the back. Who? The, no, this one. The person in between. This yes, one? yes, this one. Uh, and this is the president, though. Yes, this is the president, but this, he was the person who was organizing all that. Okay, how many people were at the book launch party? Oh, it was a, it, it was arranged by uh, by, by this. Uh, um, so uh, yes, yes, ten people. Pakistan, people, Pakistan, tw Pakistan tw Association of Scientists people? and Scientific Professions. How many people came? PSSP. How many people came to the oh, book launch? It was a limited gathering because this one this one was there. About 120. And how how many copies did you have? Published at the, in the book launch. He, this man handed over this book to him. Asked, asked me to hand over the book to him. He read, uh, read out a few, few. Uh, this is you. Paragraphs. This is, this is you right here, in the yeah. middle. This is me. Okay. <laughs> this is me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just want to make sure. And uh, you, have, you have how many copies did you have printed? He had. Uh, he, he got it printed. Uh -huh. he's, the, he's the man who uh, uh, he, he was the head of the uh, Hamdard Foundation. Okay. And what, what, what did the president say to you? What the president, uh, Zindi, Zindi al Haq? Zia, Zia al Haq. Zia al Haq. What, what did he say? When he, when he handed the book to you, what, did he, what, did he, what words came out of his mouth? He, he, he's reading out of that book. Oh, okay. He will open, and now he starts reading it, uh, it uh, two or three sentences. Oh, okay. Okay. What about what about this statement right here? In 1999, after you published, you said, uh, "Ever after the publication of my first book, New Dimensions, friends and Very readers serious, have been wondering why I should have deviated into dimensions of sociology." So, can you give us an example of? One of your friends, and that's that. If, who are who are the people? One person in mind here, or one reader, or one friend. What did they say to you? I had to do it. They they say I, I, they I, said, Mirza, why did you I, go? I I, 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 I I told them I had to do it. Uh huh. Because nobody is going to listen to me in terms of chemistry. Nobody is allowing to allow me. You don't have any any friends. You don't you don't allow it. So what we have to do is just to put our head down uh -huh. and keep thinking yeah. and writing on whatever we, we, we can. Okay. Yeah. Let, let's not ru ruin our brains. Yeah, smart. Do something. Keep, do, keep doing something. Keep yourself engaged. Otherwise, an empty mind is a devil's workshop. Yeah, yeah. And that's what, that's what has ha happened. In the entire Pakistani society, is, is they will kill one. I hear it's that. Entropic. I hear when that I you. It is they will kill one. I mean, it is entropy driven. Uh, what? Entropy driven. 
En entropic? En entropy. Entropy? Entropy. Yeah, entropy. Entropy development. Entropy. So development of orbit decay, you mean? We have been, we have been uh, our, our society is entropy driven. Entropy, the, entropy the, driven. The, the, the moral, the moral is entropy. Okay, so you're saying society is decreasing in, in uh, or, we have, we have, mental development. We have no brain. Okay. We 